What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. You can see we're back in the waders, standing out here in Big Creek again. Gonna make a uh, part three of this Big Creek series. Weather's nice today, had a few hours to fish, so I come out here and uh, got to the creek. Gonna explore some new areas today. Hopefully catch some, well, I won't say big fish. You never know, we could run into something big, but hopefully several different species. I love just uh, getting to look at them, talk about them, learn a few things different stuff like that it's it's just about the adventure today guys so i hope you all enjoy these videos as much as i do and stay tuned be sure to subscribe if you haven't already there we go there's a good fish First one of the day this is a nice little red eye, little rock bass. That's the majority of what's going to be caught in this creek, but there we go. Pretty little guy, good coloration. There you go. Oh, a little small mouth. I didn't get a hook in him because I was pulling the spinnerbait out of the water when he hit it. That's good. There we go. We got it that time. Oh, is this a big old stripe shiner or a big creek chub? Big stripe shiner. There we go. Number two species of the day. There we go. So, good way to identify these fish is when you look down, straight down on top of its back, see that little stripe down its side, stripe shiner. And, uh, too, they got these big diamond like dorsal scales and big broad body. There you go. They usually get pretty big in these streams. So that's why they usually hit rooster tails and spinners and stuff like that. They're pretty fish. There we go. The rock bass. Yep, that's a good one. healthy one yeah, nice pretty little rock bass fish number three that's crazy how good them fish blend in can't even see them when they get underneath that water Here we go. Yeah, good one. Yes, I think it's a small mouth. Yes. Come on, don't come off, don't come off. Come on, get on the bank, get on the bank. Get on the bank. There we go, guys. In the nose. Hooked in the nose. Check out this pretty small mouth out of this little creek. I'd say this is a pretty old fish. Look at the, like the orange coloration in its anal fin there. It's like an orange, wow, that's pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get a couple pictures of it. Let's get good release footage of this fish. Just gonna hang out right there. There we go. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah. Now this is getting a little bit more fishy. Here's some ducks. It's starting to widen out a bit, so we may run into a couple more smallmouth, decent size. There we go. I um, broke a little bit of a slump. Looks like it's a sunfish. Four species today already. Looks like we got a little bit of a hybrid here. Looks like we got a red breast mixed with a green sunfish. Two different suns sunfish species mixed which creates that hybrid that's what I figured I would catch right here in this pool is something like that it's a lot wider part of the creek as you can see it's pretty deep no current really at all I've not saw anything but really bait fish just visually so I figured we'd at least catch either a bluegill or a sunfish species because usually this is where they like to hang out at and i hit i caught him off his tree over here so that's ideal spot for a sunfish There we go. What we got here? A little smallmouth. <laughs> little guy. <laughs> I think I just saw him swim up past me a second ago. Two smallmouth. Drop shiners, some rock bass, sunfish. So, doing pretty good today. Glad to see those smallmouth are in here. And they're reproducing, so that's good. There we go. Yes, another. What is this? Large mouth. Sweet. There he is. He's right there. I wish I could have grabbed a hold of him. Looked at him before he swam off. There we go. That's another species. That's like five. <laughs> that's good. I'd almost say. No, I won't say that's a spot. I'll say that's a tree large mouth. The chances of there being a spotted bass, I don't know. Maybe. That was the best fish of the day about it. Here we go. What we got here? Oh, best rock bass of the day. It'll stay on there. Barely hooked. There we go. Another beautiful red eye bass. There we go. I switched up baits here, throwing this little Rapala minnow. Sinking. 
where it's a little bit deeper here, I, I can kind of control the depth of what I'm fishing with a little bit better. Sinks pretty fast, a little bit heavier than that spinner. I'm just reeling it right on the bottom. Thought maybe one of them bass that was swimming out. Oh, got him. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Barely hit the water. I think uh, this was a good change in bait. Oh, that's a beautiful red breast. Looks like another type of hybrid mix. No. I believe it's just a red breast. It's pretty though. I wish I could have got it some more camera time right then. It's hard to stand out in the middle of these creeks and hold on to these fish. <laughs> I need to bring like a little net. next time I fish. Something just let it float in the water beside me and net them. Because I drop them. <laughs> I try to talk about them and I just drop them right in the water. There we go. Oh yeah. Man. These ain't the best hooks, I will say these stock treble hooks on these little bitty baits i probably change them out because i'm kindly starting to like this little thing it casts real good it's small i can control the depth of it good it's getting bit catching good sized fish in these little creeks so <laughs> i'm kind of liking it There he is. Almost instantly. That's a good fish. Yes. That is a spot. I think. Yeah. No, it's a that's a large mouth. I think I've found my new favorite creek bait. <laughs> that spinner bait's good though. For like dirty or water situations but these fish are really chewing on this little minnow. Speed release on this guy. Sweet. Hit it as soon as it hit the water. Love it. When they eat like that, that's when it gets real fun. Small now. Oh god. Three smallmouth today and two large mouth, a couple rock bass, a striped shiner, some sunfish. That's been a good day. Really good day. Been out here for an hour and forty minutes. Got him. Oh. Oh. What we got? Another smallmouth. <laughs> oh, 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 easy. There we go. This is a better fish. These fish are so pretty. Stay on there. Please stay on there. I need my pliers out. For this guy. And he's gone. I got, I got a few pictures of them, anyways. Some footage, so. 
pretty bad. There you go. <clears throat> the red breast. Colored up. Pretty. I quit that. He's off. Those are the ones that <laughs> dig a hook into you. Seems like the fish abundance has gone up. We went there one stretch for 40 minutes almost and didn't even catch a fish, seemed like. Oh, yeah. Another good red breast. Starting to get into these about every cast don't spine me there you go he was right up around where he should have been up in all that structure over there a little way down the tree some shade deeper water I feel like we should catch a smallmouth though some point over here. There we go. Oh, we got large mouth. There you go. I guess that's our third large mouth, about four or five small mouth, rock bass. Pretty good bass species today. Come on. One more good fish before we stop today. This is probably where we're gonna end today's video at this bridge. My truck is parked right up here on the right. And then we're going to start part four of the series at this bridge and keep going. So hopefully we can catch one more right around this bridge and call it a day. Oh, got a good one. There we go. What is this? <laughs> Another red breast. We're going to end today's video on this fish right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had as much fun as I did watching. But if you want to change that, just grab your rod and head out to the creek and find you a little bait. You can buy these little lures right here at Walmart. These little Rapala crankbaits, Rapala, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and get you a little light action rod and, and be, be able to go out and catch you some fish.